Nothing, nothing, nothing goes to waste at Hidden Well Farms. And I mean nothing. Hello, Hidden Well Farmers. It's good to see everybody that's come out to join us on Friday's Reflections, and we hope that you are uh, getting ready for some warm weather and some springtime. <laughs> I know I am. I'm ready for some uh, grass to grow for the sheep to eat. You know, <clears throat> I feed my sheep about every day something, you know. Uh, they have plenty of hay, and they've got plenty of still winter pasture that they um, devour, but you know, we still feed them. I have a creep feeder and I have stuff. And, and a lot of times when we put the troughs out and, and we feed them, you know, 50, 60, 100 pounds of feed, when they get done, there's morsels laying all over the ground, okay? And you would, you would think that that would be waste, but it's really not. There's just not any waste because after we run the sheet back in, you can turn around and I have seen as many as 50 cardinals and robins and of various other birds who will swoop in and they will eat those little portions. I mean, they will gobble them up. They will clean it up like they haven't seen food in six months. And this is all year. It doesn't matter whether it's in the middle of summer where there's plenty of bugs or it's in the middle of winter. I mean, those, those cardinals and those robins and sometimes the... Uh, other birds will swoop in and they will absolutely clean that stuff up. And you're thinking to yourself, you know, that that's awesome, that's sweet, and all, okay, you know, but they're not getting very much. I'm going to tell you something. Those birds wait for that food. Because, I mean, we are literally gone uh, for like a minute and a half and we turn around and they are there. They've been waiting for us to get out of the way. They are happy to get those morsels. And as I was thinking about those birds, you know, sometimes it just doesn't take much to make somebody happy, to change their day. I know that there have been times that, you know, I've been kind of dragging and somebody would tell me a dumb joke, like a dad joke, and all of a sudden my whole, my whole day's better. Somebody would pat you on the shoulder and tell you that, you know, it's good to see you. And all of a sudden you're better. It's amazing. You know, it's not always the big meals that make us th the happiest. I'm sure you've seen those commercials where somebody's acting like a diva and then they give them a candy bar and all of a sudden they're back to normal. <laughs> it's not much. But sometimes that's all that it takes is just a little bit. In Luke chapter 12, verse number 24, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are you better than the fowls? I like the fact that God not only has a table prepared, but he's got a whole lot of little snacks in between. And it's those snacks in between that a lot of times are the basis for a good day versus a bad day. So when you're out today and you see somebody's down a little bit, maybe smile. That smile may make all the difference in the world. Have you a dad joke prepared? I know there are people out there that really thrive on having, you know, good dad jokes. So um, maybe have a good dad joke. I I'll tell you one real quick. A guy had to go into a, uh, a place to eat and it was a suit and tie only. He didn't have a tie, so he went back out to his truck and got some jumper cables and just put them around. He walked up, and the maitre d' says, Well, I'm going to let you in, but no matter what, you better not start nothing. <laughs> See, I feel better already. <clears throat> I got this poem right here by Douglas McCullough. It don't take much. It don't take much to make men glad, to cheer Folks up when folks get sad, when crops look poor and things go wrong, it don't take much, it don't take long. Whoever any fella is to slip your arm inside of his 
and let him know a friend he's got who's still a friend no matter what. He'll chirp right up at just a touch of friendliness. It don't take much. It don't take much to set men right. One candle's bigger than the night. If someone sees it who's astray and finds the right and proper way, you don't need scold, you don't need preach, you just need to do and reach. Your hand and find some fella's hand and help him back to solid land. A friendly hand, a kindly touch, that's all they need. It don't take much. Isn't it amazing what some crumbs and some cardinals and a few robins can teach us about ourselves and about the Lord? Have a blessed day, Hidden Well Farmers. Have a great Friday.